Uh, the camera batteries died, sorry about that. I had a little problem with the extrusion. At first it seemed like the uh, white plastic that was in there just sort of just solidified and I had some worries about that but as you can see I do have a print going now. It's looking pretty solid. It's beating up a lot and I imagine that's probably the speed of the platform itself but slowing down the extruder controller could also be a factor. This is just a second test basically so I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to uh, write down all the parameters once I've got those all set and know what they are and then we can start tweaking. I'm going to go back to Crash Space and they do a monthly MakerBot meet so uh, next time they are available for that I will be heading back. I don't know if this is the raft it's printing which is basically an under platform of sorts and then it prints the actual plastic on top of that, the object. This is just to help the object stick to the platform itself, so any problems get taken care of now. And this will be cut away later on. So I'll check back in in a few minutes, we'll see where it's at. Let's see, right now we've got an hour, 15 minutes theoretically for this to finish. So I'll check in every little bit. And uh, one thing I will note is that there is a fairly significant smell of uh, warm plastic, if not melted plastic. So I'm sure there's a little toxicity going on. And I will put the walls back on here. Let's see, how does this go? Here we are. That does quiet it down just a little bit, huh? So one of the things I was thinking before I may have mentioned was creating some kind of hood here. And now that I'm looking at it, of course, seeing the plastic going down here, I'll have to make some kind of accommodation for that. Uh, this seems to be working out so far. Technically, this should spin around as it pulls plastic, but if it doesn't, I'll certainly keep an eye on that. It's not as smooth spinning as I would like, so we'll see what I can do about that. See you in a few. So here's what is being drawn right now. Let's head over here and take a look. Walls are looking pretty straight. That's kind of some really nice detail in there. I'm kind of surprised. Apart from the striations of every layer, that's really hitting some fine stuff. I'm surprised that the walls are staying as thin and true as they seem to be. Sorry about the TV in the background. Pretty freaking cool.
So the spindle isn't quite working the way I thought it was going to. However, I think part of the problem is the experimenting I did before with trying to uh, get this to rest on the uh, spindle I made. So clearly I'm going to be keeping an eye on this, definitely. It seems to be pulling from the middle of the pile rather than the top, so maybe I should have uh, pulled from a different area or what, I don't know. That's alright though, it's working. <laughs> and this is pretty cool. I think we might have a problem, it just kind of stopped for no reason. stopped so it's not doing anything all the motors are still engaged the relay is working over here I don't see an indication of the current temperature And you can't get to the control panel when you're in the middle of a build, unfortunately. Oh, we'll let this sit for a minute. It's not paused. It's not stopped. It says it's building right here. It says it's building down there. So let's see what happens in a minute. All right, so it looked like the connection was dropped with the computer. And here is the piece that got built. The quality is different depending on which side you look at. So the column there is a little worse. This one's pretty good. Then this one's just total crap. So I, and there's a lot, there's almost no definition inside the main wall there as compared to this wall which has some pretty good definition going on and that one as well. So I'll try another print, see how it goes. This is hollow completely. It uh, com just fell off the raft basically which was really nice. And here we got the second layer of the next raft coming up. So I'll watch how this one goes, I'll stay local, and uh, keep you updated. So this finished off axis, the steppers look to be disengaged, let's get a little focus. So when this started, 
it was closer to there and it looks like the y-axis was probably closer to there so it definitely got off somehow I didn't hear any particular noises I definitely would have heard some if something chunked so I don't quite have an explanation for that but uh... yeah that's it for this one thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it see ya